Hello everyone in this video, let us learn how to enable JSON export in Jira. In Jira we do have some export capabilities. For example, if you go to your specific issue, uh, which is right now uh, nothing but a simple problem uh, ticket from my Jira service test project, I can export it in a uh, few different formats like XML, Word or maybe printable which is nothing but uh, it will create a file, an HTML file. Also at the same time if you go to the uh, issue navigator, you also have uh, similar options to export your uh, issue navigator results, your JQL output or maybe output from any filter. And you can also export it in a few different options here, uh, like maybe HTML, XML, and so on. Now, in Jira, you can also enable JSON export uh, capabilities. Now, JSON export can be really interesting because uh, uh, sometimes you may want to import within Jira, which could be uh, from any other uh, system, it could be a different Jira instance, so especially in case you want to uh, import the issues from different Jira instance or maybe uh, maybe you want to merge two different projects or maybe you want to do migration. So JSON is also a capability, uh, one of the import capability along with the uh, CSV file. And of course, you can also do, do other things like uh, uh, you can do some uh, issue creation using REST API, but uh, JSON is also a very good way to import issues in Jira. And uh, you can first enable a small sub-module to uh, or, a, or a plugin to have this feature uh, enabled in your Jira instance. So what you need to do, if you go to the manage app section and if you filter for system apps, so basically all the apps, all the add-ons that are there uh, in your system, uh, by default, uh, you can search for something like a Jira Importers plugin and you will find this uh, Jira Importers plugin that you can uh, further expand and if you go to the various uh, sub-modules enabled within Jira Importers plugin then you will find one uh, uh, module called as uh, JSON, a sub-module. Now we have two different uh, options here that you can enable so you can uh, enable this uh, module to export issue navigator results and you can also enable the second one for export issues in JSON file. So basically uh, this JSON export capability can be added for uh, individual issues along with issue navigator results. So let us uh, quickly enable this and I'll find my Jira importers plugin. I'll go to the modules enable and uh, I'll, en I'll enable the next one and then we'll go to the filter or issue navigator again and if I refresh my issue navigator let me check if I can find an option to generate a JSON file so yes I do have this option called JSON and if I click on this uh, option I have my issues coming from of course my results, my, my search result displayed in a nice JSON file and uh, the good thing is that you can now save it, you can also maybe uh, um, use it for, for something else, maybe you want to export it in a, or maybe import it in a different Jira instance, of course it is not always straightforward but along with CSV import you can also do JSON expo, uh, import. Uh, let me also open one of the issue if I open let, let us say one of my uh, issue in Jira, I can hopefully generate a JSON file for that particular issue. So very simple way but it can be really useful but uh, uh, I want to show you how to enable this particular feature and uh, this can be really useful for uh, import export migration activities and this is all I want this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.